Welcome back, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, fuck. It's been a wild ride tonight. Oh, man. In case y'all missed it, we just finished Outer Wilds. And that shit was, uh... Wild. <laughs> wild, to say the least. Oh, man. What a fucking night. What a fucking night. Now I guess, um, you know, I didn't want to, uh, end so early tonight, because normally I usually go until, like, 3.34 or so, and, uh, I mean, it's not even 2 yet. We finished that way earlier than I thought we were going to, so, I figure, let's fucking get some things going here. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go back a couple days. We'll, we'll make it like... There we go. We'll make it Wednesday. Sure, why not? Yep, that'll be good. And let's make it like... Fucking four in the afternoon. I don't fucking know. I really don't know at this point. I'm just rolling with it. Um, I figure we're just gonna fuck around for a little bit. And, uh, you know... You know, do some things. Do some things. I don't know what we're doing. Probably just gonna chill out. Bullshit, you know? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I need that right now. It's been a long fucking day, and the ending of Outer Wilds just fucked my whole world. It, 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 it completely fucked my whole world. Oh man, it's been so long since we played Animal Crossing. Oh my god. This is before my vacation. Oh man, what do we got going on? Oh jeez, a lot of goddamn letters we can't read. Happy Room Academy. 31,000 points. That's actually not bad. We're in 31,000 points for our fucking thing. Apollo? Oh shit, Apollo's gone. That's a big rip, Apollo. That's a big fucking rip. But not the end of the world. My god, it's tangy. Tangy, my homeboy. It's been so long. Hmm. Why did I eat so many snacks? I'm so full. I ask myself the same fucking thing every day, Tangy. Every day. Full and angry's a bad combo. Oh, yeah. No, I feel that, Tangy. I feel that. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, wait. We don't have a thing to feed him. We need to go get a thing. I wonder if he'll still be here if we go to the beach. We need to pick up things. I don't know what we need to give him in order for him to give us something cool. A sand dollar? A pearl oyster? Maybe a pearl oyster? I don't know what we need to give him. Hmm. Can I share a little something with you? Sure. I mean, why not, Pascal? If we get hugged by an octopus? Uh, no? It'll blow your mind? Dude, you just blew my mind. Oh! Wait, wait, no! I thought we had to give him something! Pascal, no! Where are you going? My guy, my dude! He's just drifting away. Oh, give me the beat, boys. I'm free. My holy fuck. My soul, I want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. Oh, shit. We caught him. Holy fucking fuck, dude. Are you serious? We caught a Dorado that fast? Oh, my God. And following Pascal, no less. Holy shit, what kind of luck is this? This is off to a great fucking start, I must say. I, I mean, I'm, I'm genuinely impressed by how amazing this fucking start of playing Animal Crossing has went so far. This is wild. <sighs> Man, between... Okay, as of late, you know... I'm sure as you guys are aware as of late between between playing 
before, I mean, before I left for vacation for a week, you know, we were playing Destiny a shit ton, and we were playing Skyrim a shit ton. The past, pretty much this entire week, you know, it, it's Thursday night now. Well, technically Friday morning, but Thursday night now. And, like, we've all week we've been playing Outer Wilds, which has been a fucking wild ride. No pun intended. Like, man, it... Oh, man. It feels like a long time since we've just sat down, chilled out, just did nothing. <laughs> just played some fucking Animal Crossing, you know? It's, it's... This game's like a whole different experience, you know? It, it It's just relaxing. I mean, I guess one could argue, you know, and, we, and I've gotten into this discussion with my coworkers before, to where, like, any game you play should be relaxing you. I mean, you shouldn't be playing a game that works you up, you know? But to me, you know, maybe I just feel super passionate about it, you know? But I feel like a lot of the time, especially when I play games like like the Outer Wilds, you know, a series we just finished, granted, wasn't a super long game, you know, we only put about four days into it, but, like, it, it's just so powerful, you know what I mean? I feel like I can't help but be almost blown away by it, you know? And games like, like Animal Crossing like this, to, like, you know... One could argue that all games are relaxing, but th it's just like a different experience, you know? And I like it. I like it a lot. It's very nice. Oh, fucking horse mackerel. Get the fuck out of here. You didn't mean to do that. What are you doing on the beach here? Who the f Wait, what's your fucking name? Ed. <laughs> Yo, G-Love. Fucking G-Love. I always forget about G-Love. It's so nice out. I gotta get some rays, homie. So you know how some people show their faces around here during all these special events, right? Well, I heard basically they're all total buds of the mayor. Yep, okay, yeah, we, we totally knew this. We knew this already, Ed. Thank you for telling us information we already knew. But that's okay. That's okay. Ed didn't know. Ed's just being Ed. Goddamn animals. Oh, there's another fishy down here. Oh, there's two fishes. How did he not swim away? How did that other one not swim away? From being gobbled up by anglerfish to gobbling up the anglerfish. <laughs> Hell yeah, Lunar. Hell yeah. Oh, man. Oh, no fucking way. No fucking way! I think I actually needed a salmon. Oh man, I, I think I needed a salmon for my for my museum. Oh, this is great. That's so goddamn great. I totally forgot it's September in our game. Man, that's great. So by the way, Lunar, you, uh, I saw on the Discord that uh, you know you said you were at work. What do you, what do you what do you do for a living, Lunar? When, what is your job? Oh, mistakes were made. Inventory? That sounds exciting. Is it at least like something cool that you're doing inventory on? Or is it just like, you know, like bullshit inventory? <clears throat> I've never done a job like that. You didn't do an inventory or anything like that. I mean, I guess I did do... I go to random stores, count their shit, and get asked by their customers if I work there and where I can find their specific <laughs> items. <laughs> nice. Nice. So, you don't actually work for any of the retail stores or anything like that. You just... You work with them. I get that. I, I get that. You know... 
the last com before I joined the Air Force, the last company that I uh, that I worked with is kind of something. I mean, I don't want to say similar. It's like contractor work, but I count things, right? Yeah, I don't want to say like my work was similar, but our business model was similar to where we worked with. No fucking way. Yes, yeah, swap it. No fucking way. I don't give a fuck about that shell. Did I hear Air Force? Yes, uh, Death Angel, you did. I, I work for the United States Air Force. I do things. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to show that off. I don't fucking care. Hmm. I, I do things with the giant radar dish on a big plane. What's the talk count for crash planes now? You know, I think, I mean, I don't know in the history, in the entire history of the plane that I work on, how many have crashed, but I know of at least two incidents where planes have crashed. These were both before my time, you know. Before I ever worked there. Before I was ever in the Air Force. You know, generally when things uh, crash, they uh, they come down pretty hard on that shit. But I know of two separate incidents where it did. I just don't know how old it is. I don't know how old they are. I don't know when they happened, you know? Hmm. Okay. Let's do some donations. I don't think we have an arowana in here. I do think we have a Dorado. But I don't think we have an arowana. I think we have an Arampama. Oh, fuck. Maybe we don't have the Arampama, but we already have the arowana. I want to be in the Air Force TBH with you. It's something each crash is like throwing donald trump's bathroom into the sun 13 times you know you're not wrong you're not wrong lunar the air force is okay you know i i don't the air force has done me good you know it I don't want, I, I hesitate to talk bad about the Air Force because the Air Force has given me a lot of benefits, you know, like as far as like the assistance that they give you with, um, like say like getting a house, you know, like what I have here, like I have a nice house, you know, that, you know, I mean, I possibly could have gotten with my last job, but it wouldn't have been nearly as easy, you know, stuff like that. I mean, they do, they have done me a lot of good. But at the same time, I definitely don't think I would. I don't. I don't think I'll resign whenever my contract's up. You know, it's definitely something that I'm not really cons even kind of considering at this point. Who knows? Maybe my tune will change whenever I get closer to my um when my four years is up. But you know, how cute is Isabel in this game? I don't know that Isabelle is in this game. Or if she is, she's certainly not in my neighborhood, I think. I I don't know. <laughs> what? Yeah, they're saying new leaf. This is this is Wii, homie. This was on the Wii. I'm playing with a Wii controller right now. <laughs> This was a while ago. This game came out, what, 2009? You know, I have considered... I have considered maybe one day... Um... Playing New Leaf. 
but it's definitely something that I'll play after I eventually get done with this, you know? And even then, like, I never know how to feel about capturing, like, like doing, doing, like, PC capturing of, um, like, you know, uh, like DS or, you know, Game Boy emulators, stuff like that, you know? They're not bad by any means, like when I use them on my own time, yes. But capturing them is a, fuck, there's like a little tiny net that got in my house somehow. It's fucking with me. But, like, I mean, I don't know. You gotta usually make like special overlays and everything else for that type of shit. And like, it's just something that I haven't done yet. You know what I mean? Maybe one day. Definitely maybe one day. This is always just Animal Crossing, like I did the original Animal Crossing series, or the, the GameCube Animal Crossing, like, series. It's where we collected all the fish, we collected all the bugs, we paid off our house completely, stuff like that, you know? And I want to do that with this game, though there's so much more to this game that it's going to take a long time. Especially when I kind of only play it whenever I'm like... Just here and there, in between main series and stuff like that, you know? Um, you know, it, it's, uh, I don't know. It's going to take me a while to beat this one, I think. And even then, I have, this is just kind of like my chill out game. And I've considered that whenever I beat this game, I might do something like maybe The Sims as like a just kind of chill out and bullshit game, you know? Saw the president's plane land once. Interesting. I have never seen anything like that. But I do see planes take off all the fucking time because I basically work on a runway. <laughs> I'm going to do Solstice of Heroes and Destiny 2 starting on the 30th. I'm going to be honest, Lunar. I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know anything about that. I mean, Destiny will probably... Or Mysterious Wolf, uh, for those of you that are unaware... She will probably coerce me into uh, playing it with her. Uh, I just haven't yet. Oh my fucking god, that was a lot of money. Yep, that fucker was huge. I mean, I can imagine. I can imagine. I don't know what type of plane the, uh, the Air Force One is. I, I don't know. I don't know what type of plane that is. I mean, even ours is like, it's a Boeing 707. It's from the fucking 70s. And ours is huge as shit. Like, it, but even if you put that thing next to like a 737, like, those things are massive. Not to mention like a 747 or something like that. Never played Destiny. Destiny's good. I didn't play it until recently. I played it, um,. With my good friend mysterious wolf uh here and there along with lunar in the chat and a uh, a couple of other people that i got introduced to uh through her and um i mean it was fun you know it's definitely not something that i would ever play on my own you know like i tried that because i got the game for free last year i tried playing through it just solo and i only got a couple hours into it and then i was like eh this it just ain't my jam. But playing it with friends was a different experience. Definitely, 100%. Kind of changed my opinion on the game quite a bit. If you complete the Solstice event and you get the armor to Legendary, you get a head start on the new armor system without having to grind brand new armor sense. Then I guess you won't be doing it then. Um, what do you mean, Lunar? What do you mean? I mean, I might do it. I might do it with, do it with Wolf, you know? I mean, I haven't got, like, to lo to light level 750 yet, you know, but it's definitely something that I would, like, consider doing. Again, I just... I have a hard time wanting to do, like, to just play multiplayer all the time. Me, personally, and this isn't against anybody like that streams or anything like that you know people i mean people can you can stream multiplayer games all the fucking time 
you know, and you can be successful. And I understand that, you know, and I mean it, you know, that's just what some people do. Personally, I prefer, you know, single player story driven games. Those are always the games that have garnered my interest more, you know, and it's definitely harder for me to just commit to playing multiplayer games all the time. I mean, yes, they're good sometimes, you know, I don't mind doing it like every once in a while, but like, it's just hard to commit to doing it all the time. And anymore, if I'm not streaming, motherfucker, and like anymore, you know, it's like, if I'm not, if I'm not streaming, I'm not playing games. You know what I mean? I don't really ever play games off camera anymore. So what you're saying is expect 24 hour streams of cyberpunk when it comes out. Oh yes, definitely 100%. <coughs> I'm going to play the, I'm going to take vacation days when cyberpunk comes out. That's not even an exaggeration. Maybe even at the new animal crossing and maybe the outer wilds, the new obsidian game when that comes out in what the end of October, I might do that too. Just stream it like, like super long streams. Oh, damn, I didn't know you had a Discord server. I do. It was set up by a wonderful viewer by the name of Kai Chronix, or in the Discord, he is known as Kai the Wise. A fucking awesome dude. Shout out to that guy. Um, but yeah, he helped me set it up um, a while ago. I post the most updates in there, by the way, Death Angel. In, in case, you know, you were ever curious. Most of my updates I put in there first. Good because I'm going to be watching because my computer won't be able to run cyberpunk. Honestly. Um, oh, shit. What do you want, Amelia? I've been thinking of greeting. Like, ah, fuck off, Amelia. I don't really care about your greeting. Uh, but, um, but by then, Lunar, uh, by the time cyberpunk comes out, I will almost, as long as everything goes according to plan with my budget, uh, as long as everything goes according to plan, as far as budget is concerned, I will even, I'm going to have a new PC built by the time that comes out and I'll be using my beast of a, my, I mean, it's a modest beast, but if I'm not running streaming software, the thing can still run, you know, all any game at, you know, ultra settings, hundred frames a second. But it's just streaming software that slows my computer down, you know, running OBS and all this other shit. So what I'm going to do is I'm building a new PC that's going to be my main gaming PC. And this thing's going to be a fucking beast. And I'm going to get a capture card and capture that footage to this bad boy and use this one as a streaming PC. So that should, that by then, by the time Cyberpunk comes out, like, my, my, my streaming game will be looking crisp as fuck. I'm so excited, actually. It's just going to cost so much money. <laughs> it's going to take me, like, a good chunk of this year to save up for it. You should play Monster Hunters on the Wii. Monster Hunter's good. I I only played Monster Hunter some... I, I can't remember which one it was, but it was on the 3DS. I played it for a little bit. Her nickname for you is G-Love. It is. It, it is. It is G-Love. Every, pretty much everyone in town calls me that. It's great. One of the uh, one of one of the um, uh, the animals in our town just randomly started calling me that one day, and I just kind of rolled with it. Actually, I think there's a command that uh, one of the moderators in the Discord made. Uh, in so it's a command in the discord, but it's like Exclamation point nickname or something like that. And it's like I don't know same some shit about G love. It's pretty fucking good Monster hunters Jen Maybe I can't remember which one it was I, I can't remember the name of it. I didn't play. I didn't play it very much. I Don't have a whole lot of experience with monster hunter I've been thinking about getting World, Monster Hunter World, and like playing that. 
but I just haven't yet. There's been so many other games I've wanted to play, you know? Plus, I did play Dauntless. That was actually pretty fun. It was surprisingly fun. Oh, I don't think I have this fish either. Maybe I did, but I, I don't remember getting that. I'm going to dip. See you, Grant. Glad I got to see you beat Outer Wilds. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Well, you have a fantastic night, Lunar. And uh, I'm really glad you got, to, uh, you got to stick around and see it as well. It was a fucking fantastic experience. No doubt. I want to get it, but I don't have any systems that can support Monster Hunter World. Hey, just gotta, gotta get a PC, dog. <laughs> Easier said than done. I know. I'm just fucking with you. But, you know. Come on, fish. You big bastard. This is a big boy. Better not be a fucking black bass. I'm gonna be so salty. Here we go. God damn, another one of these? Oh my god. I don't feel bad about selling the other one now. Because we just bought and we just caught another one. That is wild. That's one of the rarest fish in the game. We've caught two of them in less than a half hour. That's nuts. A dace. I like how the dace looks. It isn't worth shit, but... You know, still, still cool looking. Oh my god. What in the fuck is that? Oh, I gotta be ready. Oh, I'm flinching. I'm flinching so bad. Here we go. Look at the fucking size of that pike. We're catching all these fish for the museum right now that we just, we've never gotten. Oh my god, this is a big boy too. Though this is probably a black bass. But, Jesus fuck, dude. Our luck today, our luck today is so... It's... This shit is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Goddamn bananas. Oh my fuck, dude. That's amazing. I am. Oh god. You know. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Get back here. Caught a walking leaf, too. Oh my fucking god. This has all been blowing my mind. You know what? I'm doing a save state just in case my emulator decides to fuck me. Oh my god. This is wild, dude. This is nuts. <sighs> Fucking cheers to our good luck. If I catch nothing else of interest tonight, I'll be happy. We got some beefy, rare boys already. I'm taking this pike immediately to Blathers. He needs to have this... Fucking pick that weed. Get out of here. We don't need that weed. Hmm. My goodness. I am blown away. What a fucking night it has been. <clears throat> Hell yeah, Death Angel. Hell yeah. Cheers, buddy. You know, you know, today was shit. To, like, honestly, like, the beginning of today, like, I don't know, I, I was, it was, it was a, it was a pretty shit day, but, I mean, tonight has just made it, oh wait, we already have a pike? Oh, it's another one for the fucking collection, I suppose. 
you know, but, but tonight has made just, it's made everything so much fucking better. Like, we've had, what a fucking time we had in Outer Wilds. And then this shit, like, all this good luck and just an Animal Crossing for just randomly hopping on. Like, this is nuts. This is so nuts. I'm so happy. I don't think we have anything else to donate. I don't know for sure if he has one of these bad boys. Same with the walking leaf. I don't know if he has a walking leaf either. I think he already does. I can't remember anything that I've donated already anymore. You know, the one downside to playing this one is that with the GameCube version, there was, um, like... There were checklists that you could use, like interactive like checklists that you can download and that's like if you already caught something like a fish or a bug or something like that, you could just you could click on it and it would mark it off for you and it would save it like that. And that was really convenient because you could just see like any everything that you just needed. But there isn't anything like that, at least that I've found for Animal Crossing City Folk, you know. I mean, it's okay. You know, it is what it is. You know, we just have to work off memory a little bit more. Like, for what we have or have not donated. So, if we catch something that's really rare, I almost always go and double, triple check it with blathers just to make sure. Because I'm, like, I, I can't remember. You know? What a fucking time. What a time to be alive. Honestly. Oh my fucking god. What are you? What the fuck are you? Oh my. Dude. Dude. Another one. Oh my fucking Fuck, man. I don't have the GameCube yet, but I have a NES. The NES is good. I like the NES a lot. It's just... Personally... Personally, the GameCube is... It's my favorite console. Of all time. <coughs> I really do like the Switch. I I've never been, like, much of a console person, you know? Mostly been PC. But, as far as consoles are concerned, like, the GameCube is probably my favorite all time. The Switch is right up there, too. I do, like, I do enjoy the Switch a lot. I don't play it as often as I should, because, like I said, I don't play many games not on stream anymore, and I don't have a capture card to capture my Switch, you know. All of these games, the Wii and, uh, like, any GameCube games that I ever play on stream... I'm playing through an emulator. I do own them. Like, I... Every game that I ever play on here, I do actually have a physical copy of. It's just I have no way of capturing them, so I play them on an emulator. You know? Pretty... Just Dolphin. Dolphin emulator is the shit. I love Dolphin emulator. And it's nice because I can make them look really good for stream. Do you have Metroid for the GameCube game? Or GameCube then? Yeah, like Metroid Prime. I had Metroid Prime and Metroid Prime 2. Chaos. They're good games. They're very good games. Have them, haven't played them through in a long time. It's, it's been quite a while since I've played through them. But they're definitely something that I've been thinking about going back and playing. Because the last GameCube game that I played on stream was... I think it was Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. And that was a fucking fun series. I had a lot of fun with that. But I mean, realistic, realistically, now that I'm thinking about it, that was almost fucking two months ago. Um, we, we've played a fuck ton of games since then. And, I don't know, I want to go back and I want to, 
I, I, I don't know. I want to play some GameCube games again. Maybe our next series will, might be a GameCube game. I was almost thinking... Um, I was almost thinking... Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. It's one of the... It's probably one of the biggest Zelda games. And I just have yet to play it. You know? And I don't know why. I just never really got the opportunity. You know? But recently I did figure out that like my local game store it does like have it for sale so like like I, I don't know I um I, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about picking it up and playing that you know it was one that I was considering playing even before I started I just recently got to, before I, I left on vacation for those of you that don't know I, I went out I just recently last weekend I got back from a um like a week and a half long vacation and before then I just finished my Skyrim series and that Skyrim series took forever uh, that 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 Skyrim series took so long and I was uh I was even thinking about playing it before then you know just haven't yet so I think I'm gonna do it I think that might end up being my next series. I'm not entirely sure. You know, I just miss playing GameCube games. I want to. Really bad. A gamer should have it if you... Uh, should have it if you have it wherever you live. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, that's kind of the plus side about... You know, this is the first... I live in Oklahoma City. And... One of the big upsides of living in a bigger city you know this is the first time i've ever lived in like a, a big city and one of the upsides to it definitely is the fact that i uh you know i have a lot of options when it comes to like places where i can find older games like that you know it's, it's nice it's convenient fuck i have nowhere good to put this like whatsoever Maybe if I just scoot these back one. Hmm. We need to rearrange our house. I, it's just there's these two fish I want to keep. So I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm just going to kind of plop them down for now. And then we'll figure out a better place later. You know. Once we rearrange the room. I need to get some sharks in here. That's what I need to do. What a time. We can sell this other pike too. And I think we've already even gotten a char in there. I'm not entirely sure, but I'll have to look. Be cool if you could add the tanks together. Yeah, it would be. It definitely would be 100%. Kind of like get like um like in the museum, they're all just kind of in. There's only like three or four like big tanks that they all just live together in. I wish you could do something like that in your house. I'm hoping they add something like that for um the new Animal Crossing, the Switch version. You know, fuck! I'm so pumped for that game. I I am so excited for that game. I would not be surprised if they uh, added something like that, though, you know. It seems like they're putting so much into it, and I'm and I'm honestly so excited. <clears throat> and like I said, definitely for sure by then I'll have my new build done, and my new build is going to have a 4K capture card in it. It's going to be fucking lit. My account on the Switch is suspended. That's unfortunate. How did that even happen, Death Angel? Do I already have a char? Hmm. I do have a char in here. You know what? We're going to go ahead and sell all the fish we have. I think that's just the way to go.
I don't think I've ever gotten an account suspended on anything. I've definitely gotten warning on Xbox for like fucking with people and Call of Duty back in the day. Just like knife them in gun game until they got pissed off and reported me. <laughs> that was fun, you know. But other than that, I've never even gotten any close to getting any account suspended or anything like that, you know. People are reporting me for hacking in Splatoon 2 because I've killed the max levels at level 5. That's fucking stupid. I think people just have a hard time accepting the fact that some people are just better than them. <laughs> you know? Fuck them, dude. How long is it suspended for? Is it indefinite? Or is it just like, do you have a date when you can come back and play again? Hmm. Fuck this shit. I'm leaving. We have to call them? Oh, I see. That's fucked. It's almost been a year. That's crazy, man. To be fair, I haven't played mine in like the better part of a year at this point. The last game I played was... Right after it came out, I got Let's Go Pikachu. And I, I played that. That was the last thing I played on the, the Switch. Goddamn pitfalls. Why are there so many pitfalls in here all the fucking time? God, I don't want any of this shit, Booker. Fuck off. I'm leaving. Not having it. How good is Let's Go Pikachu? It's good. I like it a lot. I, I, I enjoyed it a lot. It was... It remained pretty faithful to, um... You know, ye Pokemon Yellow. You know, it, it felt pretty much exactly like Pokemon Yellow. But, you know... I don't mind the catching system that they added from... Pokemon Go. I could really understand that if like somebody didn't like Pokemon Go, then I could definitely understand them not liking this game. You know, because there's a lot of that aspect in there. You know? But as far as story is concerned and location is concerned, it was a pretty faithful remake to the original, just with different um, mechanics. Which I don't think was necessarily a bad thing. I think it was a lot easier because I think it was definitely aimed more towards children, you know, like younger children. But I don't think that makes it necessarily bad, you know. Like, I... I mean, I, don't, I fuck, I don't have a problem playing a game like that, you know what I mean? As long as the story is good and... I mean, it's fucking Pokemon Yellow. It's It's essentially Pokemon Yellow, you know. There's not a whole lot of difference to it. There's Pokemon Yellow with the shiny new coat and some Pokemon Go elements. I have no complaints with it, really. Other than the fact that it was a little easy. You know, but even then, that's kind of subjective, I guess, you know? I'd definitely play it again. I will say that. I'd give it a solid eight. I'd give it a solid seven. Hey, maybe a seven. Maybe a seven. Maybe not an eight. A seven. Sounds about right. Fuck, this is a big boy. This is gonna be something good, I know it. Oh, it's an eel. Look at that eel. Man. I'm pretty sure this is just gonna be a fucking sea bass. Goddamn bastards. You mother fucker. Okay, there we go. It's just gonna be a sea bass too, isn't it? Oh! It's a flounder! Little derpy boy. 
Hands, have you ever tried swordfish? No, I have not. Like in real life, are you talking like, have you ever tried to eat it? If that's the case, then no. Um, okay, so I like the taste of fish. You know, I think like all the fish that I have eaten in my life tastes good, but it seems like every time I eat fish or like seafood in general, it just, it fucks with my stomach really hard. And uh, so I just tend to avoid it most times now. Occasionally I'll have some sort of seafood, you know, I'll have like, if my wife gets it or something like that, then I'll, I'll maybe try a bite or two, you know, just to, you know, kind of try it out. But I, I generally don't eat seafood much, you know. I wish I could without my stomach being an asshole, but you know. Sometimes it's just the way of things, unfortunately. More of a land guy. I'll take a good steak over anything any day. Easy, 100%. God damn, I love steak. <laughs> Though there are some meats in the world, some, I guess, more exotic meats that I would definitely like to try, you know? Like, I've had some stuff that's, like, a little bit out there, like, like, bison burgers and, like, alligator, uh, frog legs, you know, I've had cow tongue, stuff like that, you know? Beef cheek, um, pig brain, tried pig brain, scrapple, I don't know if you know what scrapple is, it's more of a east coast thing, I guess, seems like it's pretty much only ever on the east coast that I've ever heard of it, you know, but I, I have tried a lot of different shit, but there are other meats that I would like to try, like like, I've definitely been interested in, like, I don't know, I want to try bear at some point. I've, I've heard it's not bad, you know? I've always wanted to try kangaroo, but it's kind of hard to get here in the States, you know? Especially in Oklahoma, we don't really have many places to where we can get kind of more exotic meats like that, you know what I mean? But I would definitely be down to try all of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's good food right there. It is. It is. You know, probably the one that shocked me the most with how good it was was probably cow tongue. I had cow tongue tacos, and that shit was bomb. Like, that, it was so delicious, and I really did not expect it to be. You know, like... It's fucking good now. The only one that I ate that my mom makes it. Oh, that's fucking awesome. That's actually really awesome. I never had really shit like that when I was growing up. It was all shit that I found when I was an adult, you know. Just trying to like broaden my my palate, I guess, you know. I think the only thing that I've had that was kind of weird that I still that uh, that I personally still think was weird was probably like um, a pig brain, you know. Like it wasn't bad by any means. I had it pan fried, you know. I ha I had a, I had a couple little chunks that were like like this, and I um I had them pan fried, and it wasn't it wasn't bad. It's just the texture is very like off putting. You know, like it, it's, it's not bad by any means, you know, and it's not like I get grossed out of the fact that like, I feel like a lot of people's just biggest problem with eating something like that is they know where it's from, you know, like they know it's like, oh, this is brain, you know, this is fucking weird. I don't really necessarily have a problem with that. I, it's just, just the texture of the food itself is weird. You know, maybe if it was prepared another way, maybe it would be different, you know? 
that's the only way I've ever had it. But, you know, I definitely tried a different way, you know, if I ever got the opportunity. I'm very open-minded when it comes to food. You know, like I said, even with seafood, it's like, I, I'll try it. I'll, I'll try pretty much anything. It's just, I'm not going to fucking eat a ton of, I'm not going to eat a ton of it but just because it's going to fuck my stomach up, you know. Same. I mean, food, you know, I, okay, so like my wife, my wife is a very picky eater. You know, I love her to death, but she, she's an incredibly picky eater. And I, to me personally, I just, I have a hard time understanding being like a picky eater. I mean, I guess I used to be more of a picky eater when I was a child, you know, but ever since I've become an adult and I've tried more, I've, I've expanded my palate a lot more, you know, I... I can't imagine being that close-minded to different foods. You know, it... I don't know. I just love food. Love all different types of food, you know. Even something... The thing that gets me about, like, food is... You can take something that you've had a million times, you know. You know, something as simple as, like, chicken or beef or something like that, you know? So, I mean, something that you've had over and over and over and over again, and all it does, and all it takes is just one person preparing it differently that, you know, like, can change the way that you think about it. And that blows my mind. That blows my mind with food. And you can make it in a different way. Yeah, that's very true. You know, it's... That right there is one of the reasons why, like, I'm in avionics right now with my, with my job. I, I do, I'm basically a glorified plane electrician. You know, I, I work with a radar system that, uh, you know, I, and I do a lot of electrical work and stuff like that. And I'm already working just through my job. I'm already sort of working towards getting my degree for that, but my love of culinary, the culinary arts, I guess, is, is why it's making me almost even consider saying, fuck my, like, you know, my current path, you know, even though, like I said, I could probably work not super hard and get my bachelor's in avionics. There's something in me that just wants to be like, nah, fuck that. You have free college go do go to culinary school or some shit like that you know something that you're like passionate about you know it's something that i'm very seriously considering in my life and something that i'm gonna have to definitely think about over the next three years while i'm in the air force you know we'll see you know shit can always play out differently you know you never know what fucking curveballs life is gonna throw at you you know but you know I keep my options open, I think. You know? And I think culinary is right there with me. I think I'm... It's something that I'm very heavily leaning towards. I love cooking. I think I could make a decent chef. You know? It's part of the reason why, like... I don't know. Like, I have no issue. I, I have absolutely zero issue going to a place, uh, provided I have the means, you know what I mean? Sometimes fucking bills and life happens. But I, uh, it's, it's part of the reason why I have absolutely no problem if, they ha if I have the cash, going to a nicer restaurant and spending more for a meal for me and my wife you know, because it's like, I, I, res I respect what a good chef can do. You know what I mean? It, you know. And people say money makes the world go around. And that's true to an extent, I guess. But I think it's food, man. Food is universal. Yeah, you know, one time I had to make dinner and I changed it a bit and I had a sauce and two different spices. 
I mean, that's what you gotta do, Death Angel. That's that's what you gotta do, you know? You know, there's a lot of times to where me and my wife, uh, like, say we'll be making uh, dinner or something like that, and we'll be going off of a, uh, a recipe or something like that, or, like, let's say, it's my wife's mom used to cook for us a lot and stuff like that. We'll take a recipe that our my wife's mom used to do, and... Uh, we'll just, we'll change it. We'll be like, oh, this could fucking work good in there. You know what I mean? These, these couple spices could go good with it. Let's just fucking throw them in and see what happens. You know? It's the way you make things your own. I kind of dislike Olive Garden because I found plastic fingernails and hair. Olive Garden. I don't know. I'm not really a, a super, super huge fan of Olive Garden. I've been there plenty of times in my life. Um, I don't think it's very authentic ta Italian food. I've never had an experience like that to where I found some disgusting shit in my food. Granted, I've, I've never found, I've never had that type of experience there. Uh, I could understand why you'd feel like that because I would definitely feel like that if I had that experience. But um, when it comes to Olive Garden, and places like that, you know, kind of more upscale chain restaurants, you know, like, I don't think it's bad, I just don't think it's authentic, you know what I mean, like, there's a lot of zest that goes into authentic Italian cooking, you know what I mean, and anybody could see that if they actually went to an authentic Italian restaurant you know and some place like olive garden like a chain like that just doesn't have that you know i don't know if zest is the right word but you know there's a lot of flavors going on there that you're not going to get at some place like olive garden you know i don't think it's necessary i don't think that necessarily makes olive garden bad because there is some shit at olive garden that's Genuinely not terrible. Oh, fuck. Fuck, no, 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 no. We didn't have that. But, you know, most of it, however, I would prefer to go to somewhere else. If I wanted to get Italian food like that. Or I'd rather make my own. That's just me, though. I would honestly just prefer to make my own most of the time. That's a big boy. That's a real big boy. I don't know. Chain restaurants weird me out. Though I will say, recently, um, I don't know where you're from, Death Angel. I, I'm unaware of that. But recently, I did go to a chain restaurant called uh, Cheddar's, which, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure is owned by the same like overarching company that owns like like Olive Garden and stuff like that and I went there and got a like I don't know what the fuck their biggest steak is but I ordered that it was it was it was like pretty decent cut fuck it was good and they know how to make a fucking good Long Island iced tea a really fucking good one. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, maybe it also was the alcohol that had an effect on my um, opinion of the food. That could have been a thing as well, you know. But my fucking god, that was a good steak. It, it was pretty good. I was genuinely impressed. I thought it was going to be pretty shit, but it was, it was solid. I genuinely think most of the time that if I'm going to have a steak... I'm gonna make it best. Like, I'm gonna make it best, you know? Yeah, it's good food there. Yeah, it's pretty good. Like I said, I wasn't expecting much. I had never been there. Oh, shit, I kind of took a little snapshot. I've never, I had never been there before, but it genuinely surprised me with how good it was. I was, I was shocked. I thought it was going to be kind of shit, but it was right next to our house, and we just wanted, like, a decent dinner, you know? So I figured I'd try there. That was, that was pretty fucking good. It was a good steak. 
And I got pretty drunk there. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Long Island iced teas, man. They... Oh, man. Those things are crazy. I don't know how old you are, Death Angel. I don't know if you're able to drink or not, so I don't know if you're familiar with different types of alcoholic beverages, but a Long Island iced tea, for anyone that doesn't know, is basically just a mixture of alcohols, like four or five different types of alcohol. And uh, usually with a splash of some sort of uh, like bitters or something like that, you know, to just give it a little flavor. A little flavor besides alcohol, I suppose. But fuck, like, if done right, like, it doesn't taste like alcohol at all. It tastes like, like tea. It's nuts. Except, it's four different types of alcohol. So it gets you drunk as shit. <laughs> it's pretty good. Can't complain. Cheddar's makes a pretty fucking good one, I will admit. Definitely did not expect it. Oh man, fuck. I'm wore out. I had to go to the doctor's office at fucking seven in the morning this morning. To put that in perspective, I usually get off at around 11 or 12 o'clock at night, normally. And then I play games until like 4.30 or 5 in the morning, and then I sleep until 11. I had to be at the doctor's office at 7 o'clock this morning, and it fucked my world up. Hey, thank you for the raid, Jacob. I, I do very, very much appreciate it. It's 2.56 for me right now. Same. Uh, same, Death Angel. <laughs> we in points. <laughs> How's it going, Jacob? How was your, uh, how was your stream? How has your night been going? Went well. These people will treat you well. Uh, thank you for the follow, Captain Dingpot. I do very, very much appreciate it. The fucking cheers, homie. I do appreciate the love, guys. Very, very much. We were playing New Leaf. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Yep, I've been going at this uh, Animal Crossing City Folk save for quite a long time now. I, uh... Fuck, this has got to be stream number... Fuck, 16 or 17 of, like, me playing City Folk, but... I generally only play it like kind of in between main series and stuff like that, you know, just kind of like chill out game, you know, when, you know, just kind of round out the night or something like that, you know, the fuck man, it's nice. We just finished a series called, uh, we just finished a game called Outer Wilds tonight and it was pretty good and so figured we'd chill out and play this for a bit. This gameplay looks smooth as this dolphin. This is definitely dolphin. Yes. Uh, it's Dolphin with a texture pack on and all graphics options uh, m cranked up in Dolphin. Fuck, you think this looks smooth? You should have seen my fucking, like, Animal Crossing GameCube play, like, playthrough. Holy shit. I mean, that game is significantly older and that, we made that look fucking amazing. Cut his hands on the Switch game. If only. If fucking only. One day, boys. One day we'll be there. Hmm. Nah, fuck this thing. We don't need it. One day we'll be at the Switch one. I'm excited for that day to come. Though it feels like an eternity from now, you know. That's okay. Fuck it. I would rather them push the date back for the game than, uh, 
then rush it and it not be its best, you know? I have faith in, in Nintendo over most other companies to, uh, you know, not put out garbage. Even with something like, like, I don't know how invested y'all are in, um, you know, in Nintendo. Seems like a decent bit. <laughs> Just from first glances, but uh, you know, even with stuff like Metroid Prime, like four and stuff like that, games I've been waiting like a thousand fucking years for. It's like I'd rather just wait for them to like, you know, wait a couple years and then get it because I know it'll be that much better. You know, is that Cotton the horse? Uh, no, that was probably Ed. I don't know who I. Pretty sure that was Ed. Oh fuck, Tangy's got fleas. All right, I'm gonna head to bed now. All right, Death Angel, you have a you have a good little sleep. Love you, buddy. Oh wait, you just haven't been carrying fleas this whole time. How does an orange carry fleas? How does that happen? Hmm, it's like a big walking flea motel. Well, there you go, Tangy. Problem solved. Oh, it is Ed. They look kind of similar. I don't know where the fuck he went. I don't even know where you saw him from. Oh, thank you for the follow, by the way, Jacob. I, I do appreciate it very much. Sorry, I was being distracted by fleas. <laughs> when the notification came out. Yeah. Sometimes it'd be like that, though. Fucking fleas. I don't even know where Ed went. Fucking Ed. He's been gone into the night. Like a spooky ghost. Fucking guy. Oh man, what a time. What a fucking time. Hmm. What do we got here? We have been on a fucking roll catching like rare fish tonight. I, I'm still blown away. Before y'all got here, before y'all, uh, you new peeps got here, we've caught in. Are we, we've caught two arowanas, two pikes, um, a gar, like, a whole bunch of shit. Like, a whole bunch of rare shit in one, you know, in, in the matter of an hour. It's kind of nuts. We've caught a fucking lot. My mind has been sufficiently blown. I cannot catch another, like, rare thing all for the rest of the stream, and I'd be happy. Like, it's been pretty fucking good. Oh, man. I wonder when that king salmon shows up. Because, I mean, we have the regular salmon in our uh, museum now, but we don't have... Uh, we don't have the king salmon, and I don't know when he shows up. I probably should have my guide open right now, but I, f I haven't played in fucking like a week and a half, so I didn't think to open my guide before I started the stream. A new leaf, I need, I just need 15 fossils left to complete the fossil museum. I don't know how much I need here. I've got to be around there for this one. I mean, like, I pretty, like, say for example, when I played my... Oh, there's Ed. The fuck do you want, Ed? I'm gonna buy some of my sweet merchandise. Uh, a modern desk. 3,400 or 47 bells. Fuck, man. You know what? Just because I like you, Ed. Here you go. I don't fucking need it. I just, I want to help out Ed. Ed's that help me. Uh, but, yeah, we've got to be close to that as far as fossils are concerned here. I've had an, an, uh, I have had on a city folk town. Nice. It's pretty chill. But, um, yeah, like in the, like in the GameCube playthrough I did and stuff like that, I mainly just kind of focused on getting, like, bugs and, uh, bugs and fish. Just because those are kind of constant to an extent. But as far as, like, fossils and paintings are concerned, it's pretty random, you know? 
and so I didn't want the series to drag on for a super, super long time. So I kind of switched over a little bit. But even in this one, like, I mean, I've been kind of doing the same thing here, just kind of trying to focus on fish and bugs. But even still, like, I mean, we still have some work to do, but we've been collecting like a decent bit, you know. This main room needs to get filled out a bit more. I haven't looked at it in a minute. It's been a while since I've actually been in my museum. It's slowly getting there. Slowly, slowly but surely. And we have a decent little bit of our uh, fossils to go, but as far as fish are concerned, we're almost there with fish. We've almost got all the fish. And we've made significant progress as far as bugs are concerned as well. But, um, you know. I'm pretty happy with it so far. I prefer the Fossil Museum and City Folk. I just, like, okay. New Leaf is a great game, you know? Like, I really, really enjoy New Leaf. But, when I think of Animal Crossing, when I think of like a proper Animal Crossing game, I tend to think, honestly, of the GameCube version because that's the one I grew up playing the most. It like it just feels like proper Animal Crossing to me. That being said, while I like the feel of the original, Wild World and City Folk, respectively, they both added so much that you kind of get the feel of the older games. It kind of retains that older feel, but at the same time, also gives you a bunch of new shit, you know, like, and there's even stuff in this game that there's even stuff in like City Folk and in Wild World that weren't in New Leaf. Something as basic as like, let's say, let's say the flea markets, like to where like you can just go into villagers homes on those days and you can buy shit from their house and stuff like that. Or you can set up your house like a shop, you know. That's fucking awesome. That is that is an amazing feature that I don't know why they would take it out of New Leaf. You know what I mean? It's it's small shit like that that I don't know, it makes me prefer these games to New Leaf. Not to mention that it's on a proper console and in my opinion looks better, you know? Granted, that's kind of unfair because I'm playing it on Dolphin and not, you know, a proper Wii, you know, but still I, I, you know, it's just two different feelings, man. I, like, I think they bogged down the museum in New Leaf. There isn't constellations, the designs of the fossil and the bug museums. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree. Like, New Leaf is good. It clearly, it clearly added a bunch of stuff that needed to be added for the series to move forward. And I understand that and I respect that. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know. I, I just, I prefer the originals, you know? Like, this is probably my favorite one. Like, as much as I love the original one, the, I probably have more love for the original one. This one's probably, in my opinion, I would say City Folk was the perfect Animal Crossing game. We'll see when the Switch comes out. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, we'll see, you know. Nobody knows right now, but, um, you know, it'll probably be good. I'm optimistic for it. I'm very optimistic. It looks different, but not in a bad way by any means, you know. And I love the art direction that they're going with the uh, new one as well. I think the Ocean Museum in New Leaf was a huge improvement. I do agree with you there, 100%. 100%, uh, Dingpot. I, I, I really, really do. I think we're gonna make it Saturday. Hmm. What do we have to go to? Oh, fuck. Mistakes were made. Nope, it's the 12th, okay. I want to get a little rover action. I'm probably going to, you know, for me right now, it is 3.09 a.m. 
and I got up at 6 a.m. yesterday. <laughs> so, probably gonna end in not uh, super long from now, but before I do, I wanna get a little rover action, go or not rover, uh, KK Slider action going. You know, go and see him play before I, before I end it, you know. I always like to end it on a good KK Slider jam. If you have any requests, please belt them out to me, you know. I'm always taking requests. Fuck. I love this. I, I love the nighttime music so much. Pick these fucking weeds as I go along, too. And actually, I'm going to check Tom Nook's store to see if he has anything cool before we head over there. Hmm. I think New Horizons is going to fix a lot of problems. I think so, too. I, I genuinely do. Hmm. Oh, pinball machine. That's actually pretty cool. Pinball machine is actually pretty dope. And so is this doll. The Wobblina. Hmm. No, I don't want it. There is a gnat in my room that... Did I just fucking catch that with my hand? Oh, no, I didn't. Fuck out of here, Nat. Jeez. None of my... Snuck into my house. Fucking gnats. Gnats are the worst. Like, gnats are the worst fucking bugs. Why do they exist? I don't understand. You just sneak in when you open the door. Or like moths. You know, I keep my porch light on, so I open my fucking front door and like every moth in existence wants to fly into my house. Having a nap problem too. And we just have them a lot like in my area. You know what I mean? It's like they all get attracted to my fucking porch light, so I'll go to open my door. You know what I mean? It's like every moth ever and every gnat ever just wants to fucking like race in. It's like fuck off, get out of my house. Leave me alone. I don't I don't understand. Hmm. Goddamn gnats, bugs, fuck bugs. I know they're a necessary evil, but damn it, just leave me alone. Hmm. Let's get a cup of Joe from Brewster as well. Hit me up, Brewster. Handcrafted blends. Oh man, I'm ready. I'm very ready, Brewster. It's been so long since I've got coffee from you. I love these so much. Exceptional. But could you expect anything less from the legendary Brewster? No. No, I couldn't. Brewster's that man. I mean, can't expect anything less from anybody with that mustache. I mean, let's be real here. KK. You know what? Let's look at some songs here. Let's look at a proper jam. We need a, we need a good one. Alright, let's see here. City full KK slider songs. Hmm. Let's check it out here. What do we got going? We need a good one. I have gnats attracted to my bedroom lamp. That's unfortunate, man. I fucking feel for you. Pondering. I think we're gonna do pondering. That sounds like a good chill one. Hmm. Hmm, uh, I know a song. I got you, KK. Pondering. It's a little ditty for grit. It's called pondering. Oh shit, drop my vein. Oh, 
Also, Colorado has been quite hot. Then it rains hard. I live in Oklahoma, man. I'm, I'm right by you. And I understand how it is. It's like 100 fucking degrees here, but it rains constantly. So it's just muggy as fuck all the time. I, I know how it is. Go to sleep. You go to sleep, wolf. I'm jamming here. Well, I mean, this this song is much less of a jam than I thought it would be, I'll be honest with you. But it's not bad. It's just very mellow, you know? Awesome, Reg. You fell asleep on me again. It's dry in Colorado, isn't it? Humid in Oklahoma. Yeah, it gets pretty humid in Oklahoma. I mean, not terribly bad, you know? The past, like, week and a half or so, it's been pretty dry, you know? Which has kept the humidity down, like, pretty well, you know? But it, it gets there a lot, you know what I mean? It, like I said, it just rains a fuck ton. And it's out of nowhere, too. But I'm sorry, Reg, uh, fell asleep on you again, Wolf. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna be, uh, I'll probably be ending the stream here in, uh, a few minutes, Wolf. Maybe we can, like, bullshit for a few or something like that before I head to bed. I gotta do some shit on my computer after stream anyway. You know, so. Probably just hop in the Discord before I go to bed. If you're down. And we need to get something else going. Like, that was... It wasn't the worst, but it definitely wasn't... It definitely wasn't bumping. Cool, I can tell you something funny slash sad. Alright. Sounds good, Wolf. Hmm. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Let's do, uh... Let's do one more encore. Hmm. We need to get one, so we need to get something a little bit more bumping than that last one. It was just, it was so slow. <sighs> fucking gnat, oh my god, it like almost flew in my eye. This fucking one singular gnat is fucking with me so hard. It's bothering me. Spring Blossoms, B-L-O-S-S-O-M-S. -S -S. Gotcha, okay. Just wanted to make sure I was spelling it right. Oh. It's a secret number. Oh, okay. Cool. You know square, so I'll play you fair. Pull up a chair. D-O-K-K -K slider. Let's fucking jam. Ooh. This is immediately better. I'm digging it. This is bumping. This is my fucking jam right here. This is what I needed. It has a nice little riff to it. God damn. I just need like a playlist on Spotify of just like KK Slider songs. I mean, realistically. They're too fucking good. They're so good. Oh man. I wonder if that's a thing. I'm gonna look it up after stream. <laughs> Definitely 100%. And you know the like the fast the thing that gets me about all these two is just like I'm pretty sure it's just one dude that did like all of these. Like I mean and there's so many. There's so many songs. I'm pretty sure he did all the instrumentals for them. It's great. So fucking great.
Fucking Brewster. That goddamn mustache. I envy it so much. That was good. That's what I needed. That's what I needed in my life. Cool, you're the most. Thanks, man. Well, shit, guys. Uh, with this, uh, this being said, though, I'm probably going to, uh, probably gonna end my fucking stream now. You know, it's nice just, like, hanging out and chatting for a little bit and stuff, but, um, I'm pretty fucking exhausted. I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow. Because I don't have, like, another series picked out yet entirely. But, you know, we'll, uh, We'll be on with something. Either, either it'll probably be more Animal Crossing tomorrow or maybe some multiplayer with someone, maybe Mysterious Wolf or um, with my buddy Christian. I'm not entirely sure yet. You know, we'll we'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, so, yeah. I'll, I'll keep you all updated in the Discord and stuff like that, you know, and on Twitter and stuff like that, of course, whenever it gets closer to stream time and stuff like that. But, um... You know, we're going to go ahead and save and quit. And uh, I love you guys very, very, very much. And um, for all of you new people, uh, it was nice to meet you. You know, you guys are fucking awesome. I love you guys. And, um, yeah, I'll, uh, you know, I'll see you all around. Have a good night, y'all. Love you. Bye-bye. 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 B